what would we be without a brain? Our brain is the command center of the body, controlling every single thing that we think, say, or do. And it even determines the kind of personality that we have. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 amazing facts about your brain that would make you think, wow. The human brain is divided into three regions, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. Now the forebrain consists of the cerebrum, which is the largest surface area of the brain that is highly folded and controls thought, memory, motor functions, and sensory functions. Underneath the cerebrum lies the thalamus, which regulates sleep, alertness, and wakefulness. Now the hypothalamus nearby is in charge of homeostatic functions such as maintaining balance of factors in the body. This includes osmoregulation and temperature regulation. Closely situated to the hypothalamus is the pituitary gland, which is the master gland of the body, secreting various hormones like ADH, LH, FSH, and growth hormone. Now in the hindbrain, there is the pons, which actually links the thalamus to the medulla oblongata. This area controls hearing, taste, and balance. The medulla oblongata is responsible for controlling involuntary actions such as our heartbeat, breathing, blood pressure, and peristalsis. Then there's the cerebellum that controls posture, balance, and muscle activity. So now that we've covered the main parts of the brain, let's jump right into the first interesting fact about the brain. Now our cerebrum is split into two symmetrical hemispheres, the left side and the right side. They actually work together to process information, but differently. The right side of the brain actually functions to control more visual awareness and creativity. So those who are considered to be right brain tend to be more musically inclined and have greater imagination, but can actually be a little more emotional. Now on the other hand, the left side functions to produce more rational analytical thinking, and therefore those who are left brain, they tend to be more mathematically inclined, being good with numbers, and also great at science. So the brain hemispheres actually work oppositely. So if you hurt your left arm, the pain is processed on the right side of the brain. So that means the left side controls the right side and vice versa. Now speaking of control, our brains consist of 100 billion neurons that connect to each other through trillions of synapses to allow electrical signals to be transmitted quickly throughout the brain and the body. These signals are responsible for controlling our thoughts, words, and actions and can reach speeds as high as 250 miles per hour. Now with so many neurons sending speedy signals throughout our brains, another interesting fact to note is that the brain can be considered the best memory storage device. Our brains can actually store approximately 2.5 petabytes of information if the brain was converted into a storage device. So that is about 2.5 million gigabytes of storage, which is equivalent to about 500,000 DVDs. So basically, the more we think and learn new information, the stronger the links between our neurons become, in addition to forming new connections. Now, in spite of having so many neural connections, our brain actually cannot feel any pain because there are no pain receptors in the brain. But it is responsible for interpreting pain signals from other body parts to allow you to feel pain in these areas. So this is why brain surgery can be performed while the patient is still awake. Speaking of being awake, our brains actually don't get the opportunity to rest. The brain is actually more active when you sleep. Sleeping is considered to be a passive and restful time for the body, but our brain uses this time to strengthen neural connections and enhance processing and retaining of new information. So sleep can help us to focus and be more attentive when we are awake. Therefore, if you don't get enough sleep, it can have a negative impact on your brain, causing reduced memory retention, moodiness, and our overall performance can deteriorate. Now, in order to keep it functioning, our brain receives blood from hundreds of miles of blood vessels tightly woven together. And this is actually enough mileage to circle the earth four times. So these blood vessels are essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients to actually keep the brain alive. So like any other organ, our brain needs oxygen to keep functioning and requires about 20% of the body's oxygen supply. The brain cannot actually store oxygen. But the brain can actually stay alive for four to six minutes without oxygen. But after this time, the cells will begin to die and this can actually lead to brain damage. 
Now another interesting fact about the brain is that it is the fattiest organ in the entire body. Would you believe that 60% of the brain is actually fat? So this is why it is important for us to ensure we have an adequate amount of omega-3 fatty acids in our diets to facilitate brain development. So that means eating more fish and taking cod liver oil supplements. Now if you're over 25 years old, supplements won't actually make our brains grow any bigger but they will maintain good overall brain health. But did you know that the size of the brain does not have any correlation to intelligence? The average adult brain is 3.3 pounds, which is about 1400 grams, with the cerebrum making up 85% of the brain's weight. And it should be noted that men do have bigger brains than women. But women actually have more nerve cells, which are the neurons, and connectors and process more on the emotional right side while men would process more on the logical left side as we mentioned earlier. Now speaking of brain size, as we get older our brains actually begin to lose some memory abilities and it actually starts to get smaller, particularly after middle age. And Alzheimer's is one of those brain diseases that can affect older people and is usually characterized by loss of memory. So the older we get, our brains are actually shrinking. There are so many more interesting things to find out about the brain. After all, it is the most complex organ in the body. But comment below which of these facts you found to be the most interesting. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.